This is the running stitch. It's the most basic embroidery stitch, simply up and down in the fabric. It forms the base of many composite stitches, so you can actually do a lot with this very simple stitch. I'm working from right to left. You can also work from left to right. And I'm going to start by stabbing the stitch, that is taking my needle all the way to the back of the fabric and pulling through, and then coming to the front and pulling through. And you'll notice that it it's simply an up and down movement, very easy. You can also sew the stitch instead of stabbing it, which is what I'm doing here, where you just scoop up a little bit of the fabric and pull through. So you go forward, scoop up a little bit of the fabric and pull through. The key to a nice looking running stitch is to be consistent in your stitch length and the length of the interval between the stitches. Here I'm taking a longer stitch, but my interval is much shorter. And that changes the look of the stitch too. So you can play around with running stitch by changing the distance between the stitches and also changing the length of the stitches. But to keep the stitch looking nice, you want to be consistent across your whole line. So that's the running stitch. It's a very easy embroidery stitch and worthwhile to know. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.